Badminton has been enjoying rapid development across Europe in recent times. The region's growth has been a collective effort between the Badminton Europe Confederation and its member associations. 2017 marks Badminton Europe's 50th anniversary, and Badminton Unlimited caught up with them to find out more about their future plans. Badminton Europe, we are, we are mainly facilitators, so we, we have to look at what the member association needs. We have to speak with them, we have to understand what's coming from them, and we have to uh, then try to facilitate them to, uh, to grow the sport within their, within their federation. Um, so it's, it's, it's actually more important for us what they need rather than what we, what we can do. We can then do for them what, what they basically need. Um, so I think that's, that's the way, that's the way I, I look at it. But of course, when we then set up projects, it's, it's important that they, that they take part and they support it. But it, they will support it if we have had that communication in advance and that we know that we are setting up the projects for the right reasons. Since its establishment in 1967, the sport's European governing body has been active in developing badminton in the region. With programs ranging from elite to grassroots, Badminton Europe has been instrumental in raising the profile of the shuttle game across Europe. I think there are a lot of successes um, if, you, if you look back. I mean, I think the, I think the, the, the summer school, uh, which has been running for over 30 years, has, has been a catal uh, uh, important uh, development tool for us over the, over the years, but also our regional projects that are bringing uh, member associations together across borders, uh, I think has been important. In recent years, certainly the, the, the school project Shuttle Time uh, has generated growth and, and, and always coach education is important because we need good coaches to take care of the, the kids and, and, uh, and, and coach them and, 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 and make badminton inspiring and fun for them and at the same time increase their level. The Summer School is one of the most popular development projects. The initiative, in its 35th edition this July, is the longest-running development activity in the history of badminton Europe, attracting junior talents from all across the region yearly. There the focus is to bring in players and to give them a lot of cultural experience. So we are hiring Danish coaches, English coaches, uh, coaches from uh, from, from Ukraine, uh, all these kinds, and, and we let them work with the players, so the players get a lot of experience in, in different kind of practices. I, I think the atmosphere is very good, so you, uh, you get around 75 people who all have the same goal, always have the same passion. Um, it's a mix between uh, educating players and educating coaches and the whole mix makes a very nice atmosphere and, and, and people have a very, very good time. And we have players and coaches who keep on coming to the summer schools. The regional project is another successful development scheme that sees an average of 10 activities organized yearly. In existence for nearly a decade, the program encourages member associations to work together and form a development initiative to enhance the level of the sport in the region. It's very important because we want three, a minimum of three federations working together, setting up a training camp. So we are creating close links uh, within the members. One of our uh, main projects, development projects, is called Shuttle Time. That's uh, school badminton. Um, and there we have now 30 countries involved. And it basically gives them a product that they can work with and, and start to develop badminton and grassroots. At the elite level, Badminton Europe has collaborated with the National Training Centres of Excellence to cooperate on offering training for talented players from other member associations by awarding scholarships. To date, there are 11 BEC certified training centres across Europe. We, we have players in Europe who are struggling to find a good training environment and with having these centres we can help them uh, to prepare for world championships or maybe for a longer time so they can improve themselves. To further support the existing certified training centres, Badminton Europe is set to open a European high-performance training centre later this year. 
Starting in September, the BEC Center of Excellence will provide a high-quality training environment to players from member associations that do not have similar capacities for their talented players. What we consider the top nations like Denmark, uh, England, uh, France, um, and uh, they want to cooperate in many ways, but, but also they are, they are competitors, and we have to respect that. So uh, it's difficult sometimes to get them to, uh, to cooperate uh, in all aspects, and uh, therefore we thought that we had to do something different. And uh, the different thing that we're trying to do now is to set up this European Training Centre of Excellence that will be uh, under the control of Badminton Europe. That means there are no uh, uh, national considerations. There's a European consideration here, so we hope that we can, can create a centre here which, uh, which, which helps the players. Exciting times lie ahead for the shuttle game in the continent. And it's the hope that the centre of excellence can lift the competitiveness of European elite badminton. Badminton Unlimited wishes Badminton Europe success in all their endeavours for 2017.